So I've got a question about Christina. Do you think she's fake or real? She put up a recently put up a video, am I fake or am I real, something like that. And it became a Google ad where she paid for it to uh, be promoted, likes, etc. And that's fine, that's, that's marketing. That's marketing, that's what people do. But I think when you have to pay for an advert, people start to think, well, that's fake, that's PR, that's marketing. But yeah, that's, the, that's the world, man. It's not fake, it's just marketing. Some people call it fake. I can understand that. Um, I've known Christina since 2006 for almost eight years. Helped her get on YouTube, actually told her, get on YouTube, this is where it's gonna go. Uh, get, told her, you gotta have a tag handle, what to wear, what to say, angles, lighting, things like that. Gave her all the, all the tips, all the hints. Gave her a launch pad on 30bananasaday.com and uh, which is what we do for a lot of people because we wanna build the community bigger and bigger and bigger and we'll do that. Everyone on YouTube has got a, an account that's going well, they come from us. That's just how it is, because that's why we created 30 Bit Answer Days, to promote yourself, build, build the community bigger. Because everyone's got little things they can share with other people that we can't. So that's why we want to have a, not a bigger slice of the pie, but make the pie bigger for everyone. So we helped Christina get a launch pad up, and that was part of a disappointment when Freely turned around and asked uh, Christina for, you know, can you maybe give us a plug now that you're doing well? Do a collab, and Christina's like, oh, well, actually, no. So that definitely rubbed us the wrong way. But we definitely don't hate Christina. So a lot of people say, oh, she's fake, she's fake, she's fake. And the reason why they say that is because they meet her in person and then they're just like, well, she's not all shiny. So when you're really shiny on video, but you're not that like that in real life, then obviously people are gonna call you fake. What it is though, it's, it's like a YouTube character people will have. It's like a stick, it's like a handle. And some people meet me in person and go, wow, you're not that much of a cunt like you are in real life, uh, uh, in YouTube life, dear, what's the deal? So I think, what. Christina didn't do well was when Wolvana did that raw food recipe. I'm not sure if you remember that. Wolvana did a recipe like a raw salsa, and it was like had carrots, tomatoes, celery, zucchini. And Christina did a recipe with carrots, tomatoes, zucchini, celery, or something like that. So Christina got her marketing departments, that her Christina's legal team approached Wolvana and said, "Look, your recipe is too similar to our little raw, raw food recipe on YouTube. Tank it down or." You know, cease and desist, blah blah blah, or we might take legal action on it. So, Rulvana, who's Christina's loaded, family's loaded, Rulvana's like next level loaded, like Christina's more like Porsche, Beamer, Rulvana's more like Bugatti loaded. So, but Rulvana <laughs> got her legal team to go to Christina, it's like, fuck you guys, um, it's, it's just a raw food recipe, it's just YouTube, no worries. And so, obviously, Christina's legal team is like, well, we're financially just can't go any further with this, so okay, we'll be friends now. So I think that rubbed people, a lot of people the wrong way because when you put up a sign that says, you know, I believe in unity or whatever, and then you go and try and, you know, take legal action on someone who has a zucchini recipe on YouTube, that's not the good thing to do. So I think Christina's learnt from that, that you sort of can't just do those sort of things. Uh, I think Christina, I see her as very young. She, I've got another good, I uh, had a good friend like that. Um, virgin, Christian, lives at home, never had a real job, come from affluence. And when you, and that's, that's totally fine. That's not, not a bad thing at all. But when you have those things, you obviously have a different uh, sense of perception than the standard person might have. So that's when the communication barrier can come up. It's just like when I go to Thailand, people here act differently, they drive differently, even the dogs smell you differently. And it's not good or bad, it's just how it is. So a lot of people don't understand that and then, but I can understand as well, because then if you put out a, a thing like, hey guys, I'm like, yeah, I love you guys, I love you guys so much. And then you sue, try and sue someone for like a, a zucchini recipe. There's it's confusion. So I think the the best thing Christina can do is just be maybe more transparent. Uh, maybe have some real, uh, more real world experiences. Maybe get a job outside of the family. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying, what this is what I did. Just you know, I come from a pretty poor family, very poor family, single mum, you know, welfare, etc. And then I became sort of self-made, self-fitness, self-help, all that stuff uh, from scratch. And that's made me who I am. So I recommend people like Christina uh, and my other friend who's similar is just to bike touring is good, maybe get a job. Just get a job when you don't know anyone. No one knows you, no one knows your dad, so they treat you special or whatever. So you, no one knows you at all. And you just like, you start from ground zero. And that is how you cultivate self. Riding your bike in traffic across the country and you've never been to or something. That's how you cultivate self. You know, having friendships based not on what they can do for your career, just friendships because that person's a cool person versus, oh, well, who do you know? Who'd your dad know? How much money? What car do you drive? Like, are you on YouTube? How many? So, camera just cut out, wrapping up quickly. My tip would be move out of home and get a job at Walmart for one year. 
problem solved, problem solved 100%.